welcome to another stream. Today we're going to be playing... Oh, that didn't work. Boof! Um, this is again kind of like Papers, Please and Not Tonight, so I'm told. Um, it's pretty new out, not played it, not seen any videos. So just interested to see what it's like. Less, there will be less punishment from the gameplay to ensure you are a smoother story experience. Raving, show me life as it is. Let's not dumb it down. Your progress will be yad 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 at the end of a game day. Do not accept the game when the sign blows. Why am I reading that out loud? Year 2036, as the environment on Earth continues to deteriorate, untainted food sources have become extremely difficult to find. Most borders are closed for security reasons and the government of each country begins to take charge of the acquisition and distribution of food for its people. Every piece of food that goes into the country must pass a variety of examination executed by the government employed food inspectors. Prologue booth. This is what we need to learn how to play. July 17th, 2021, a night of heavy rain. Tenement C501, District 8, Biden City. Here. Yeah. Tuck yourself in. There you go. Daddy, what's the story tonight? <coughs> oh, you've been waiting, haven't you? Of course. But, excuse me. Hmm. Well, well, I have a good one for you today. It happened in a place. Far west. I mean, real far. And it's about a man and a sea turtle. Pass. A princess living under the sea. Wow, go on, go on. Hold on, little man. Remember what I told you about these stories? Yes, never share them with anyone else. That's right. You've just earned yourself another story. Yeah. Daddy, who are they? It's okay, son. Just some friends from work. Good evening, Mr. Crawford. Sorry to bother you this late. Please, come with us to the office. Now! Dad? Where are you going? To the office they just said. Fifteen years later. July 20, 26, 2.30pm, meeting in 813, Aiden Central Government, Aiden City. That's be all for the interview, thank you. Alright, just some last things to confirm. Please, yes, please. Don't be so uptight, son, the interview is over. Uh, I, uh, sorry. It's okay, now look at the screen there. As you know, if you're accepted, the place you'll be working is at a booth. Working at is a booth like this. 
About 3,000 seats above sea level, well integrated at the food line and 30 minutes airstrip ride from the city. However, once you're accepted, you'll be living, not just working at the booth for at least six months straight before you can take a leave. <coughs> so, safe and healthy food is available for you during the course of employment and your families down here will be granted priority in food matters. You'll be paid each day based on how well you've done your job that day. Fair and square. Are we clear on all of these? Sure. We'll let you know the results in a couple of days then. Good luck. At the same time, about 3,000 feet above the sea, one of the booths, hiding in the skyline area. Two supreme leaders of the Great Ones, a sage and a warrior, that's what people say. Books have read too many times, feel sick just looking at their covers now. My dearest Eve. Music tape hurt that cost me a fortune. Had enough of these tapes. Ticket to CE cost $2,500. My saving is $250. Damn, where did all the money go? Took me a while to clean it up, let's leave it like that for now. This is the Ministry of Answering Radio right now. Not interested. Empty beer cans. Go to bed. Yes. I guess so. Wait. Everything has a weight. Say, health and weight. What do you think? Try using the scale in front of you to find out. That's right. That weighs 999. Everything has a weight. Now give me the heavy one. I'm hungry. Thank you. Wait, my brother's got something to say. Colour. Everything has a colour. Not the shell, but the core. Say, the first kiss of a girl on the last night before a wedding. What? <laughs> hmm, you aren't so surprised. Why not try it out yourself? With the taster here. With the tester here. See if it's the same as you think. Purple. Who guess I could be the purple one? I'm hungry. Pink. Thank you. Like my brother said, you seem like a good person. That's good, that's good. May the rules of world may the rules of world guide your way. Ten days after. Approved. Your application was approved. Work hours are 12 midnight to 8 a.m. Get ready to leave for the booth tonight. July 30, 20, 36, 7 30 pm. Inside an airship, Iden Industrial Bay. This is quite the intro. Gentlemen, attention please. We'll check the list for the last time. Booth 103, Damien Collis, Collis Lowe. Here. Booth 105, Ned Crawford. 
Yeah. We should do our own Halen. Yeah. Good, looks like we've got everyone. Turner, that's all. This is the last patch. We had much more last year, didn't we? Last year, many new boosts were built, so they expanded the enrollment as well. Hmm, the new faces here don't seem so promising though. No need for such speech, Edgar. We've got plenty of applicants for replacement. Sure. Listen up, you've gone off. God, yeah. You've all gone through a lot to get here. I hope you can all live up to our expectations. Today you may be proud of being an inspector. May tomorrow the inspectors be proud of having you. Turner, we're taking off. Alright, welcome to the food inspection skyline. Now fasten your seatbelts. Hey buddy, you holding up? Not bad, can't feel better. Honestly, a bit nervous. Oh, they the responses. <laughs> um, not bad. You've got a strong heart. So you look a lot calmer than me. Me? I used to work in the food inspection. You used to do. Landline, so not a novice. Oh, why did you come here then? That would be too long stories to tell. Look, I'm not going to beat around the bush here. Could you do me a favour? What favour? Can't be too specific right now, but you can expect a phone call these happy days. My friend will tell you all about it then. Uh, okay, but I can't promise you about the thing, it's fine, it's going to be a breeze for you anyway. Breeze? Oh, take this. You'll probably need it someday. What's this? That's a good intention, believe. We're about to ship take off. Guess I should head back to my seat. Look, don't complicate things, just pick up the phone when it rings. Now you may want to take a nap, my friend. It's going to be a long night ahead. Um, thanks. Take care, then. <laughs> See ya! Next stop, booth 103, SMS Sky Rail at 11.05pm. Then, Mr. Crawford, Booth 105, your new home. Let me give you a little tour inside. Mind the gap when you get off. Hmm, looks like this place has been cleaned up already. Isn't this nice? Compact but well appointed. Let me introduce you to some of the things you're going to use. Now, firstly, the phone reward. You should mainly use it to order food. During work hours, it will be disabled for you to concentrate. But the most important thing about it is you should always order the food with it before work, otherwise the restaurants will be closed by the time you're finished. By the way, you clear about work hours from 12 at night to 6 in the morning. That's right, an empty stomach is not going to last for 6 hours. The below phone is dustproof fridge. Below the f <laughs> That's below the phone is a dustproof fridge. It's advised that you put all your food in there. The higher the altitude, the more severe the dust pollution. Being, being exposed in the air, the food will get tainted and turn end up D rank. Oh, right, we've already put some food inside in case you're hungry after the flight. This is your bed. We have a temperature regulation system installed so you don't have to worry about the weather outside. Above it is a dustproof shelf, the same industrial standard with your fridge. Next, the belt. Any items that need checking will be transported through here. Your everyday performance will be noted down and affects your daily wage. Whether you'll leave your or stay depends mostly on that as well. On this work table there is some equipment you may need for inspection. More equipment will be delivered to you in the future. Later when work starts, pay attention to, for, to the radio for the operational details. And lastly, the business cards of three designated restaurants. Due to traffic and energy control, every worker can only order from one restaurant each day. Okay, work will st soon start. Get in front of the belt when you're ready. Looking forward to your excellent debut. <sighs> Fuk Wong. Zen Bento. <laughs> Hold left to drink. Probably don't want to drink that on day one, right? Probably not.
guess I should order takeout before work. Is this the phone? Yeah. Oh, I've got to look at the numbers. Eight eight seven seven six five five. Eight eight seven seven six five five. That should be easy to remember, right? One. What can I get you? Uh, duck rice. Yes. Okay. Okay. So that's the fridge. 82% health. Shower. And then here is the belt. Okay. Whatever. Let's see what is it. See what is it. Good evening, I'm the supervisor at Booth 101 to Booth 120. We have the new two new co-workers today, so let me briefly introduce today's task. I won't say it twice, so listen carefully. We've got two products to check today, and every item must pass. Two tests, the weight test and the colour test. So yellow between 305 and 335. Blue between... 495 See the information on the screen? First line shows the correct result of the colour test. The second line is the that says each product should weigh within that range and points included. All unqualified one, dump them into the recycle hole on the right side. One last thing, you've seen the products also not on the screen. So let's hit the red button to the left side to report. I'll tell you what to do with them next. Is that the red button? Easy, right? Let's get to work. Three, two, three. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I that's fine. So do I put it back? Yeah, I guess so. Three, one, seven. That's fine. Yellow, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. 499, that's fine. Look, go. Easy. Ooh. 499. Look. Three thirty. Yellow. Five hundred, fine. Blue. Three seventeen. Yellow. Four nine nine. Blue. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Blue, easy. 3 for 3, that's just fine. Yellow. Are they going to be wrong ones? 3, 2, 5, yeah. Yellow. Three eighteen. Yellow. Not much time left. Five oh two. Blue.
Wait. What does that mean? I don't know what that minus one means. Yeah. Tired and hungry doorbell. Food one, fast food. Uh, yes. Fork or chops. Uh, sorry, fork or chops. Chops. Can you use chopsticks there? Yeah, I think. What do you mean you think? It's not food. Take out from food one. See ya. Our items are put into the fridge shelf. That only says 15%. Oh. That's 25% and that's 10%. So now I need to order more food. Eight three six eight eight six six. Eight three six eight eight six six. Six three six eight eight six six. Oh. Okay. Just guess I need to do it in the morning. Don't need to work. So, what do I just sleep now? Go oh, right, this. Go to bed. Go to bed, yes. I'm having a headache. Probably it's the hospital like smell here, or that everything happened today was just surreal. But now, I just want a good sleep. Chapter one, good day, goodbye. It may take some time before I can get used to the night shift, but a rest did bring feelings back to me. Yes, it's really happening, and there's no turning back if my escape from Eden starts today. Dear Mr. Crawford, welcome to live in Roof 105. The roof has been sterilised and we have been today. Apparently, these people never economise their disinfectants. New clues. General clues. General clues include all the clues that are not closely connected to a certain character. Hover over the blue labels to see their details. The borders of Eden were closed for security reasons by the government during the Great Famine and it has been staying that way ever since. Even though it makes common residents unable to leave at all, few people have the luxury to care, but there's still some outliers, even revo groups, that are trying to, or revo groups that are trying to break that rule. They are now being labelled as dangerous terrorists. Hey, just like America. Skyline Food Inspector working at booth 220. I won't claim to be an ex-landline food inspector. Don't know any more details. Working at booth. Okay. A passable sleep. Getting up at night to work. Okay. Let's order some food first. God, I can't remember that number already. No, I'm ordering some. 636-8866. Oh, no. EC 
Tasty Family Restaurant, can I have your order please? Try the big thing. Big Mac, <laughs> big whack, and fries. Yeah. You can always just put it in the fridge, right? Officer, good evening. Uh, hello. Nice to meet you. I'm Nastia. Nastia, in charge of the shopping service. Oh, I just got here yesterday. Ned, Ned Crawford. I know who you are. Not that many new faces in Skyline this year. How was your first day? Still learning. Okay, how'd you like living in the booth? Well, nothing to complain. I mean, it's very comfortable. Good. Did you miss your home? Uh, no. Thanks for asking me, though. Oh, don't get me wrong. It's just our job to check on mental health from time to time. I see. Okay, let's jump right in. What do you want to order today? See cattle. Ask about the shopping service. Excuse me, is this service free? Oh, of course. The government provides this speci specifically for food inspectors unable to leave their booth. There's no reason to charge for it. And things on the catalogue are fixed up. No, the catalogue will be updated regularly. It depends on the inventory mainly, but sometimes it changes just for the sake of variety. However, because we have to control the transportation costs, we'll only have up to six items in the catalogue each time. It's a really thoughtful service, I have to say. Of course, there are lots of things here not for sale in the city, you know. All the remedy we use to improve civilian female. Wow, that's some expensive. Sure. We won't buy anything else. Ah, we'll wait. Let's cancel. Say goodbye. It's okay for me today. Thank you. Alright, I'll bring them to you next time we meet. Okay. It's balcony. Good evening. There's one thing I forgot to mention to the newcomers yesterday. Working as an inspector, you get one of the best perks available in town. And have a look at the drawer under the work table. So you get to listen to the best music in the evening for free. But don't get carried away. Too many mistakes will send you home. Okay, so we've got this should be red now. 295 to 425. No, that's blue. 11, that's fine. No, that's blue. That's it. That's blue, that's it. 3, 2, 3. That's red, that one's good. Yellow. Wait, five or six? Yeah. Bye bye. Yellow is good. Three, five. Red is good. In. Blue is good. 307, that's fine. Red is good. That wasn't that wasn't blue. 192, two lines. Yellow is not right. Two nine five three no two lights. J 
dust on it. There you go. Okay, so I must have got a, a weight wrong last time. I don't know. Cool. Well done. Tired and hungry. Hi, Easy Family Restaurant. Hello. Sir, are you okay? Wait. Illudi? Yes? Oh my god, it's you. That's what I want to say. Haha, it's been what, two years? What are you doing here? That's supposed to be my question. Why? Is it so that strange to see me as an inspector? It's not strange, it's just you didn't think I could make it, did you? Uh, please don't get mad at me, but yes. <laughs> I won't get mad at you, I'm just as surprised as you. Really? So how did you make it? Well, I don't know to be honest. You don't know? I didn't think I did well enough in both the exam and the interview, but somehow I lost it. That's a lot of luck, maybe. That's what I thought. Now your turn. Are you are working at the restaurant now? Oh, what's wrong? I just realised I'm still at work. Sorry, I've got to go take this. Take out the PC. Thank you for next time. Bye. Some items are put into fridge shelf. Cool. Phone call. Hi. Here's Jack from Yorozuya. May I speak to a Mr. Moore Crawford? Speaking, we just received your payment yesterday. As requested, a lady at Island Care Centre will, will be looked after at regular intervals over the course of the next 15 years. Is that correct? Yes. Great. The first few few months I'll be in direct contact with you and report to you her status or any emergencies. I see, thank you. My pleasure. Lastly, thank you for trusting us and please recommend us to your friends and family as you find us satisfying. Your Azura Jack signing off. Probably fine. Um, we need to shower. No. Nope. Very took my parents in for you of me in case my dad is from school and I didn't recognize the video I told you to shot them last photo studio for the reason before it got shut down permanently. So that's my money. How do I see the clues? Oops, not like that. <laughs> um. No. I don't know how we see the clues. Sure. To escape, I need a vehicle, a viable route, and ideally a destination. Before I became a Skyline Inspector, these those things were nearly impossible. But now I feel much closer to attaining all of them. I did in lottery big. 05, 05, 05, 05, 05. Yay! One five dollars, a win is a win. New clues. Company needing that helps people solve any kinds of problems as long as you pay the price. There is no refund they promise to finish the taking job even if stopped by the government. I paid them a fortune to look after my mother for the next 15 years. Working EC family was my high school classmate. Elodie was one of my high school classmates back then. She was one of the few in the class who was willing to talk to me. And then there's the government officer. Cool. A passable sleep. So we need to order food, which means we need to look at the cars. Let's try 
717-5577. Hello, Zendizu. May I take your order? If you want Tonkatsu Ramen? Always. Chrome Benson? Sure. Yeah. Cool, thank you. Oh, wrong way. Good evening. Stay we step into August. You all know what that means? No, no we don't. Yes, the annual newcomer tournament. Soon on the 8th of August, all the new inspectors will join the audition. I know some of you might think you just got here for like two days, but that's the whole point of it, to get you from crawling to walking. You won't have to leave your booth, by the way. The audition will just be like a normal day of work, but I hope everyone can treat it seriously. Don't let the landline lads tramp us again this year. So you've got yellow, purple and blue for three different types of mushroom. So this is yellow, 245 to 275. Perfect, wrong. Definitely, yeah. 245, 275, yeah. Yellow. Correct. This one, perfect, 235, 265. Correct, perfect, 235. Blue, 255295. Whoa, 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 where you going? Where you going? Yellow, wrong. Blue, 255295. Blue, oh, right. Blue, that's good. 255265. We won't make a mistake again. Hi! Your takeout is here. Oh, hi. I'm a new delivery part time at Zen. Nice to meet you. How's your day at work? Work? Uh, my hands are all so hasty, but I'm hanging in there. So hanging in there is good. Good. You don't sound like you're from here. Oh, Gauri Mashita. Gauri Mashita? Sorry. I'm no local people, so I don't speak good 
white diary. No need to apologize at all. How long have you been learning? One month almost. I want to improve, so I do this part time. Really? It's pretty good for a month's progress. Thank you. I will learn hearts. By the way, hey, how should I uh, call you? You want to know my name? I'm Iori. Not Lori. Iori. What about you? Ned, Ned Crawford. Nice to meet you, Mr. Crawford. Okay, I go next delivery. Cool. See you next time. Only one percent, it's fine. Don't want to work. Go to bed, yes. I can't say I've never thought about it, everyone wants it really. First prize is the new coming tour in the Jeweling Crown. It's probably the only legal way for a civilian like me to leave Eden. But no, I'm not going to bet on that. So I'm guessing I'm giving away. New coming tournament. Road to glory. Speak of the devil. New clue. Working part time at Zen doesn't sound like local residents. Sounds like she's from Eden. She says she's going Good evening, what do you want to order today? It's the catalogue. Game Boy? I'll just buy the lottery again. Songs for your funeral. <laughs> Buy that. Sure. Ask about new game. The addition for new comes tournament around the corner. I'm a bit nervous. Is there a way to know about its details? The addition and the details are all classified, but based on my past experience, you can finish your everyday task well enough. There's no need to worry. It's not a life and death match anyway. Lost it, thanks. Also, you can still attend it next year. You're eligible in the first three years, actually. Oh, it's going to be a fierce competition, and it always is. Okay. So, um, order some food. Who do we want? Let's go, uh, you see, 636 8866. Hi, you see, Ham Restaurant. Cool. Well, wow, big spending day. Oh, wrong way. Always do that. What? Good evening. Today we have a pretty different task. A patch of qualified energy drinks needs to pass quickly, so you don't have to do the regular waiting colour tests. However, you still need to report any undocumented products. Also, pay attention to any falsified packages. Smugglers like to imitate a lot. Keep your eyes open, alright? Whoa. So I just press the bell when there's a fake one. Wow, this is going quickly. Oh no, they were just two. Oh, whoa, it's so going so fast. Okay, I 
get it now. It took me a minute. Well, that was a um, trial by fire. Two wrong, minus 30. Oh, but we've got 345, so that's pretty good. A, S, B, D. So you see, well, I just got off work for that seat, so, oh right, working at night must be exhausting. It should be easy when my biological clock gets back to normal, so, uh, when did you start working at a restaurant? Pretty early, actually. It's my family's restaurant, by the way. Wait, what? I started helping my parents since high school. The restaurant needs an extra pair of hands, so, and you've been keeping this from us for the whole time? Sorry, you know how people think of restaurants. I know, but I think it's still okay to tell your friends, isn't it? Easy for you to say. Uh, sorry, Elodie. I'm just too surprised to find out this way. At least we both work for the government. This should put us in the same boat. No, we're not. Inspectors and inspectors, look at where you are now. Where I am, what I'm doing. Anyway, congratulations. Oh, thanks. Here. See you around. Providing information through the takeout service is much more difficult than I imagined. If possible, I don't want to drag others into this, but how far can I go on my own? 15, 15, 15, 15! Wow, not bad. Elizabeth's family runs one of the designated takeout restaurants in the Skyline. It seems she didn't like sharing this with others not working with herself. Rain and night get to sleep. Foods. See, um, just keep on ordering 6 for 6 a.m. 6 6. six. See what happens if you just keep spamming the same person. Ah, you see family restaurant. Yes. Yes. Bam. Good evening. Today we'll have to use a disinfectant cabinet. Look at your left, the cabinet is now activated. You may have noticed that this red light is now turned green. That's the sign you should remember, so I won't tell you every time if we need it or not. So all the ice say must be put into the cabinet to be sterilized. Once they're put inside, press the button above to run it. To ensure the quality of sterilization, you can only put it inside up to three items. For those of you who are new to this, be prepared to give it 
be prepared to be in a spin. So just sterilize everything. Everything's got red waves. So I should four eight seven. That's good. And it should be red on the side. Blue. Wrong. No need to sterilize it. Four hundred. That's okay. Blue. That's good. It's the sterilizer. Just the bottom side. Four hundred. Blue. So is that ready when it pinks? Yes, so. Three, five. What? Was that blue? Yes. Five oh two. That's fine. It should be red. Yes. There it is. Three nine five to four. Yeah. Reds, that's wrong. Use both ones. Three nine five. Blue. No, that's red. Four oh five, that's fine. Blue it go. Four eight seven, that's just the red. Nope, blue, gone. Four or five, just in. Blue, go. Four nine seven, that's fine. Red, that's fine, we go. Three nine six, that's fine. Blue. Five oh one. Yeah, that's okay. Should be red. Red. Sterilize. Three nine two. Two lights. Four oh three. No, that's two lights. Why am I not too heavy? You need to stop making silly mistakes. Restaurant Ned, it was my bad. I lost my temper somehow. Sorry, no, 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 it's me. It said something stupid. I apologize. It's okay. Elodie, are you feeling all right? You seem pretty stressful. That's obvious. Not my first day knowing you. Well, my life is a sort of mess since graduation. How so? Long story short, I don't know what I can do for a living except working at the restaurant. And knowing you became an inspector, I was a bit envious, I guess. I don't even know what I want to do, and here you are making it this far. Please don't feel guilty or anything, I'm truly happy for you. And this could be a good time for me, you know. Everyone was was once at a loss, I guess. Just think about the high school me. Surely I'm not that better now, but anyway. Another thing is, in Eden, you don't really have that many choices, though it could be true, it could be a reason. Because it all comes down to myself, I think. Thanks, Ned. It's been a while since I can talk to someone about this. Any time, you know where to find me, right? Ah, right. Honestly, I don't have any confidence. I don't have any confidence or qualification to teach you anything, but this I can do. Rooting for you. Smile. Good to see you here again. Me too. Don't have anything to give her. Call. Telephone. Hello. Jack. Ned Crawford. Oh yes, who am I speaking to? It doesn't matter who I am. Who I, who I am. I once said you could help. Oh, you did? I only told him I'll answer the phone, but... Sorry, how do you want me to help exactly? 
Did you see a black bottle at work? A black bottle? I did. Oh my. You're going to ask me to smuggle? No, good. But you're trying to ask me to bring you those bottles, aren't you? Yes. But that's just a mean to an end. What? I'm asking you to help save save back this foolish city. You would agree on that, wouldn't you? What are you talking about? Revo, my friend. I'm talking about Revo. You'll be cleansed before you know it, just like the others. They paved the way for us. They failed, but not us. This time it will all be different with the black bottles in our hands. What's in the black bottles? Can't tell you can't tell unless you join us. The goods. Sorry, one way or another you asked me to give up my life, and that I can't do. It might seem like it, but Owen didn't just bump into you. You know what happened 15 years ago when they pushed open that door. What? Trust me, they won't even notice you just sneak out one thing. Think about it, my friend. I'll call again. Oh, the plot thickens. Um, were we before work or after work? I think we were before work, uh, after work, sorry. So we're going to go to sleep and I think we're going to call it here. We're going to be doing some shorter streams in the morning from now on. We'll be playing long streams in the afternoon just while we go through some of these um, smaller games. So thank you very much for watching. We will see you all very soon. Goodbye. Oh, I need to sleep first. Okay, goodbye.